to Alive and Juicy. I'm Chef Dr. Deandra. I'm naturopath and raw food chef. And I'm in the kitchen today to show you how to make a fresh apple crisp. So let's get started. We're going to first make the sauce and we're going to slice the apples. Now I've chosen to hand slice the apples, but you can choose to use a mandolin or you can choose to use your food processor. I personally just like to do mine myself, and here's how I do it. We're going to use Gala apples and Fuji apples today. These are about medium size, but any size will work. So I first slice right around the core. Put the apple down flat, make another slice, turn it. You always want to keep your apple laying flat so that it doesn't slip and you cut yourself. Once you've gotten your pieces and you've gotten the core, then you just take and be sure you have your knuckles out and your fingers tucked underneath and slice it very thin. And we're looking for about an eighth to a sixteenth inch thin slice. We're looking for nearly paper thin slices. So we just slice, we're going to slice the apples up, about six cups of them. And when you get down to the end on some of these, you can just take this end piece and put it in your blender. Okay, we're going to put the apples in a large bowl. We're going to take another apple, go around the core again, and just rough chop it. blender. And to the rough chopped apples in the blender along with those little end pieces, we're going to add some lemon juice, some vanilla powder, the ground cinnamon. We're also going to add some soaked apricots, which I've sliced in half. some soaked raisins, and some soaked prunes. Okay, a pinch of Himalayan crystal salt. couple tablespoons of some coconut sugar. Now the coconut sugar is made from the coconut palm flour and it's a low glycemic sweetener. So it rates about a 35 on the glycemic scale. We're also going to use just a little bit, about a quarter teaspoon of some cinnamon extract for a little boost of the flavor. And I'm going to throw in just one shake of cayenne pepper. And we're ready to go. We're going to blend it until it's smooth. Okay, now that we've got it blended smooth into a nice, thick, semi-thick paste, we're just going to taste it to be sure that the flavors are adjusted properly. Mm. I just love the taste of apples and cinnamon. Okay, it's delicious. Now would you just add it to the apples that we have sliced? And just mix it in. And just being sure that you coat all the apples. 